I didn't get one of the beautiful people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. It is. Thank you. It is a big change. I don't care if there's a vampire in both of them. I mean, this is a different book with a different focus, different goal, and it's told multiple points of view rather than single point of view like those Sookie books were. So, what difference is the series from the book and how were you involved with it? Did you really inform them a lot and work with them? No, they're professional film people and I'm not. Uh, I'm a book writer. Of course, it's going to be really different from the books in some respects. Uh, I've learned that, you know, this is my third rodeo, so uh, I expect that because the demands of telling a story on film are very different from the demands of telling a story on paper. But I love the way Monica has stuck to the goal, the story, uh, the message, if you will, of my books. That sounds a little pretentious always, but it's true. I mean, I'm telling, I'm trying to make a point in the books, and Monica got it right away, and she ran with it. What was the point that you were trying to make in the book? Well, that we all create our own family, that blood family doesn't maybe make as much difference as the family we make for ourselves. Um, those of us who felt like we were a little weird as kids. I know it's hard to imagine that people thought I was weird. Not really. <laughs> you know, and I love it. It's really done well for me. So you have a character name, is it Lemuel? Lemuel. Uh, which was actually my grandfather's name. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. wow. It also sounds a little bit scrubby. It's spelled it's similar to the stats, so I wasn't sure if you were trying to do like a shout out to the Anne Rice. Oh, no, no. I love Anne, but... Uh, you know, no. Uh, it, it was my grandfather's name. It's a biblical name. Oh, okay. Um, as far as the vampires, it seems that they feed off blood a little bit differently than what you're used to in a vampire. Like, how did you think of that? And did it just Well, I thought it would be interesting if he were an energy-sucking vampire rather than necessarily a blood-sucking vampire. Because I've, you know, kind of done blood sucking vampires, uh, and I thought it would be more fun to have someone a little different. With the rules are a little different, and I, I wanted to write the scene where he holds on to Manfred and takes his energy. Uh, and I thought, oh, you know, I have to do that. Uh, if you feel like you really have to include a scene, you better do it. Well, truthfully, I loved True Blood, but I did have to cover my eyes sometimes. Uh, I don't think you'll have to do that with this show, though it, it for NBC it's kind of pushing the envelope. Some of the scenes are, you know, kind of. Uh, but uh, I think it's it's a little more family centric. Yeah, I couldn't watch True Blood in the same room with my teenage kids. You know, that was they were going. <laughs> so, uh, but I could watch this show easily in the same room with my kids, and they would just be go, "You go, mom." How has um, the social media fandom and the groundswell for your project? How has that impacted you as an author? Is that something where you're really involved, or do you kind of think of that when you're writing a new project? Of, like, okay, I'm gonna hear back from people on this. You know, I can't do that when I'm writing. That is too much like self-censorship, and I don't believe in that. I'm going to tell the best story I can tell. I'm going to write it the best I can. I'm going to work as hard as I can. And the chips have to fall where they're going to fall. Uh, I can't really write to please anybody else but myself. Though, of course, I'm happier when people like it, you know, <laughs> definitely, especially after the last Sookie Stackhouse novel when, as you know, you know, I got a terrible, terrible, vicious backlash. 
uh, you know, people write and say, I curse your children. Okay, that's not, not fair. Uh -uh. Me, yes, my kids, no. And now that I've got grandchildren, double no. Um, it, was, it was kind of paralyzing. So I hope I've toughened up a little bit in case I get that kind of backlash. You know. Oh, yay. Thank you. You're my ideal reader. <laughs> Midnight. Oh, good. I hope she tries the Harper books next. There, you know, I, I haven't written a Harper in a long time, but one of those Harper books was, I think, the best book I ever wrote. So, you know, that's just me. I'm just writing more books. A lot of writers I know are very careful to put the opportunity to write a script in their contract. Maybe a slack of ambition, but I'm just not interested in doing that. That's just not my area of expertise. Uh, I love writing books. I've written graphic novels. I've written short stories. I've written a lot of different kinds of literature. I'm just not interested in getting into script writing. I think there are probably enough script writers. <laughs> You know, they have been a delight all the way through. Uh, not that HBO wasn't, uh, but I think with HBO, I was scared. You know, I had never met anyone in the television industry before. Here I am with Alan Ball, who is just a genius. Uh, and uh, it was a kind of a cowing experience. But with NBC, having gone through Hallmark also, I'm just pretty much like business as usual. These are great people. They're treating me nice. I'm going with it. I did. I did. I got to go through it yesterday. It's just amazing what they can build in such a short time. I am in awe of the people who build the sets and design all this stuff. That is a whole separate thing from being on camera talent. You know, a whole separate thing. It's Okay, super. Oh, sure. Pass it over. Thank you so much. Oh, sure. Shall I personalize it for you? Oh, wow. Well, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. It's been a pleasure talking to you all.